open up and swallow them. Now, all I remember supernaturally as I crawl under the door into this beam of light, over to the left of me, there was this steam race hot rod car, and the car was glistering. I mean, like candy apple. It was glistering like sparks was coming from it. I saw this guy. Satan was a gorgeous, mesmerized, impeccable man. He had dark, silk, curly hair and bronze skin and dark eyes. He was emanating an aura of malevolence. I'm hoping that word is correct. It was Satan himself. But at that moment, I didn't recognize that. Anyway, I saw him, I said, God bless you, brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome back to Cloud9 Blessings. What a blessing it is to be that blessed generation that will soon see the Lord return and all of these dreams and visions have hopefully given you a lot of encouragement and excitement because we need it so much in these end times. Now, Cloud9 Blessings is all about sharing dreams and visions, but most importantly, it's about sharing the gospel in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, because today is the day of salvation, and it is my prayer that many people will seek the Lord and accept that free gift today. In this video today, we are going to be looking at a submission from our sister in Christ, Lily. She wanted to share this very urgent message with all of you. But before I go ahead and share that with you, I do want to go ahead and read the email that she sent in with this. And it says, hello, Amber, I came across your channel some time ago. However, when I did see that you were stating if people had a dream to share, I wanted to share that. I have had so many more that I can share with you, but at this time, the Lord has put it in my spirit seriously to share this with you and to do it today. I can't remember the date exactly, but it was in February of 2024 when I had it. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, sister, for wanting to share your end time experience with the channel. I'm sure it will touch many who see this video today, and I'm sure many will wake up and see the time that we are living in. So brothers and sisters, let's now take a look. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I believe God is giving his last warning to this world, not just Christians. In this dream, when, well, let's put it this way. The only thing I can say is I appeared in this eatery place and it looked like the Waffles House. The reason why I say it looks like the Waffles House because you can see the glass, you know, you can see inside and out the glass and you can see the booths all upside the wall and coming down the other side. And you can also see booth seats um, sitting up um, where they prepare the food. However, there were some people came in and I can't tell you where or what door did they come through a door or what. They came in and there was like two women, maybe three women and a man. And I knew in this dream they were part of something to do with John Hagee's or something ministry. I don't know. I didn't see anybody's mouth move her distinctively. There were other people around, but I didn't see their faces. And I know that when they walked in, I felt this power. And as they were walking, it looked like they were walking towards some booths to sit out in. Then they turned around and I heard, last call, all those that are saved, fall on your knees and crawl under that door. I looked and you know how a door is closed, but it's glass. You can see the glass. I couldn't see outside, just a beam of light. But the beam of light was coming from under the door. By faith, I just hit the floor. And supernaturally, I was crawling under that door and into this beautiful beam of light. It was other people that was running and, and crawling under the door as well. Anyway, this also reminds me of when Moses said, those are that are on God's side come to this side and remember that the people were the, the earth opened up and swallowed them now all i remember supernaturally as i crawl under the door into this beam of light over to the left of me there was this steam race hot rod car and the car was 
glycerin. I mean, like candy apple. It was glycerin, like sparks was coming from it. I saw this guy. Satan was a gorgeous, mesmerized, impeccable man. He had dark, silk, curly hair and bronze skin and dark eyes. He was emanating an aura of malevolence. I'm hoping that word is correct. It was Satan himself. But at that moment, I didn't recognize that. Anyway, I saw him. I said, come. We, come, go with us. You got to go with Jesus. And he kind of seemed like, you know, he was on the calm down side. I said, no, no, we got to go. That's when he said, I, I can't be a part of that. I won't. I'm not able to be a part of that. No, you don't understand. We got to go. And I noticed his figure in his face begin to change but he said well I I can't you know I'm not able to go with him that's when I turned up around and kept going toward the light and I woke up anyway I will be telling the interpretation of this dream okay where I appeared in this dream inside the Waffles house represents the world and the people that I saw inside of the Waffles house that were sitting and you know, with each other or talking. I didn't see their faces represents the people in the world, not just Christians, but all people. The ones that represented John Hagee's ministry were angels. There were two or three women and one man. When they said last call, they were telling the world, this is it. Time is wrapping up. If you don't make that choice now, you won't be able to make it later. And all those that were coming and running, and falling to the ground and crawling under the door was those that were was considered as the last generation of God's people, the last day coming to Jesus. Anyway, that was Satan. He was considered as a distraction to the people to keep them from going to the light, which was Jesus. So in this dream, I was stopped to see Satan for who he was. Big distraction in life. Now, let me also say this. When I spoke to him and he stated, I know that I, I, I can't, uh, I won't be able to be a part of that, of what he's calling. Also notice that he could not say Jesus' name, would use other words to go around it. And in this dream, Satan represented distractions. He represented the world or you turn or me turning around and following the light. So I decided to turn around and go into the light and that's when I woke up. Wow. Where to start, sister? That was definitely a warning dream. And the last call for the church, I could definitely see why you had wanted to share this audio with the channel family, because I also believe that we are that last generation. And clearly the details that you were sharing that people were in this Waffle House and that there was that beam of light outside and that people went, you know, went to their knees and started crawling out to get to that light. But there was Satan who was that distraction and he was trying to distract people from going into the light and you had didn't know because he looked so debonair and so um, out of the character that we would expect. He was there trying to distract people because of his looks and who he was. But you kept going, praise God, into that light because you were being called home because remember when the Lord comes, he is just going to come and snatch the bride of Christ to heaven. And Satan was there and he was, you know, looking like a very, you know, uh, sophisticated person. I'm sure as you were saying, he definitely caught your eye, but even as you had invited him, because you did not know at that time, um, he, of course he could not come and he was not saying the Lord's name and why, because there is so much power in the name of the Lord. And I'm sure he would not even want to say the name because he is seeking to become more superior and is trying to overpower the Lord when that will never happen. And so I could see this happening and, you know, that is happening right now. Also, Satan is definitely a distraction in many people's lives happening right now. You know, he's trying to distract people with uh, gaming and with TV and with other activities and drinking and partying and trying to get Christians to 
um, fall back and go back into their other ways of life that they once lived. And so that is all happening right now because he is the ruler of this world that we currently live in. But praise God that we have the Holy Spirit within us, that we were given that comforter at the time of Pentecost so that we could all have the Holy Spirit within us as a comfort until the Lord would come back. And when we go to meet the Lord in the air, the restrainer will also go up with all of us. So praise God. I truly thank you for sharing this with us because I do believe that a lot of people will be able to have a connection with your experience. And I do believe that there could be many people out there who have seen something similar as well and will also confirm that as well. But I do believe that we are that blessed generation, that the Lord is coming at any moment. We are feeling it in our spirit. We are having dreams about it happening, the rapture, the snatching away. But praise God that you saw that beam of light. You knew that that was the calling for everybody to go into that beam of light. And that was going to be the connection to the Lord to lead that snatching away the harpazo, the rapture. So I truly want to thank you, Sister Lily, for sharing all of this with the channel family. I also want to thank all of you for watching this video today. Please type in the comments box, Jesus is our Lord. Please type Jesus is our Lord because he is our Lord. He is the King. He is the Alpha, the Omega. And I'm so thankful for the Lord for what he has done in my life. And I'm sure you are thankful, brothers and sisters, for what he has done for you in your lives and given you the best gift that you could ever receive, the free gift of salvation in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, how that Christ died on the cross for our sins, that he was buried, and that he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. The Lord is giving you a free gift. All you have to do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you will be saved. When you come to Christ, it is a change of mind. It's a repentance, metanoia. You have decided that you want to walk the way with the Lord and you want to be with him for an eternity. So don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait and think that you have another year, two years, five years, or 10 years, because you don't know if you will have your last breath within the next minute, and that's when it will end, and you will have never accepted that free gift of salvation. So please accept it today. So I also want to thank you also, channel family, for liking this video, for commenting, and for hitting the notification bell so that this channel could be recommended to more brothers and sisters in Christ. Also, if you have been blessed by this channel ministry and can find it in your heart and would like to help and support the channel, it would be so greatly appreciated. It will truly help me to pay for the expenses that go into making many of these videos that you see here on the channel. All that information will be listed down below, including an Amazon wish list. So I thank you all, brothers and sisters. And until next time, God bless you all and have a very blessed week.